All right, fellas. You can see uh, I'm at a beaver house here, and the fox was walking around. Uh, when I got up this morning, I was looking out the window at the lake, and he went running by the camp there, and an old no beard grabbed the 17 HMR and went running after him. Never did catch up to him. <laughs> Four legs are better than two, I guess. Um, over there we have an old beaver house. Here we have a, a live beaver house. You can tell that by the, the feed bed sticking out of the ground or out of the ice here. It's a little sketchy playing on this lake. It's not very deep and it's all loon shit bottom. So it bubbles all the time. On my way back I'll point out all the four dozen air holes. It's it's good along the, the edge. As soon as I went to cross this bay it's full of air holes. But I got a trail across and it's uh it, it's good. It's it'll 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 last. Camp is just way over there. I brought the bike down the road and just parked it on the other side of this bush line and walked in. You can see I got a baited set over there and here I have yet another baited set. Don't mind the hole behind you that or behind the trap there. That's uh, that was mistake number one. I ended up in the feed bed. So I don't know if the camera will pick this up. You can see the house here. Oh, and uh, for you guys starting out, you're not sure if it's a live house or you're, you left it late in the season, there's lots of snow, you've seen some activity in a pond, you're wondering where the beaver house is. All you have to do is right where that fox went up. There's a vent on top, acts like a chimney for them. When it's really, 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 really cold, you'll see steam coming out of there. And uh, uh, fun fact, I guess back in the day, when uh, when foot traps were were the norm, they used to set uh, foot traps on top of a beaver house specifically for fox. I've never done it because I, I just here in Ontario it's a 24-hour check and I, I just don't have the time to run out here every day and check foot traps. But anyways, um, yeah. So I chiseled this hole first, measured it with the uh, the stick. Turns out I'm right in the feed bed. So. Over here, I chiseled out another hole. There's very little ice there. I don't know if the, the camera will pick it up, but right where these tag alders are right here, and this little clump of grass over here. Well, there's a divot there. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I think they have an entrance on the back side of the house, and they're coming in and around and through. There isn't a whole lot of ice on there. There's enough to support this 200-pound gorilla, but uh, anyways, we're going to drop in this baited set. Um, for those of you uh, that don't know, if you check out uh, Trapping World, Mr. Dave Vandermeer, he has all kinds of uh, videos on everything from pelt prep to trap sets, and and he, he's got some very unique ones in there that I I never even heard of before, such as his blocked uh, dam set for beaver, and I wanted to try that where uh, Curly Beard pulled out the the last beaver for us, but uh, I didn't have the the, the, the balls to go that close to the dam. Anyways, we're gonna go over, we're gonna drop this in. Um, just a half-assed rundown. It's, uh, I measured the water level with the stick first, and I have about three inches, four inches of ice over there, so I dropped it down about five or six inches. You can see how I blazed that, so the blaze is gonna go towards that channel. And, and that's pretty much it. I got the, the one spring wired, the other one's just grabbed onto the, the piece of bait stick. And I, I know it's only November and I know uh, some of you might be thinking, they're like, why is he using bait sets in November? But if you look what's in their feed bed, they don't have anything that's too substantial. They don't have anything that's big that they can gnaw on. So just by throwing in this, uh, this the, the bigger chunks of poplar, hopefully it'll trigger some action. I need one more beaver for a three-quarter quota, so that's what I'm after. Uh, curly beard and uh, new beard should be in today with my belt for my 6x6. Six six. So hopefully we get that uh, going this afternoon. And we can run uh, the, the other side of the grounds. The middle and the, the southern boundary of the grounds. Anyways, stay frosty. So, curly beard, new beard, and no beard. Well, no beard was with me, but... Uh, those two fellas, anyways, they showed up, they gave me my new belt. Check this out, watch, watch. You guys watching? Oh, hells yeah. We are back rolling in action. Thanks again, fellas. So 
we went and checked the beta sets. There was nothing in the beta sets. This one has been sitting here since the opening of Lanford with no strikes and going by I just noticed the springs were gone. I couldn't see the springs in the box. Curly beard, what you got? A weasel? It probably was a weasel, but he just set off the check. Well, that's good. That's a little excitement first thing in the morning. You want to grab good old curly beard there, the trap setters out of the back of my bike there, no beard? All right, fellas, till the next set. Well, fellas, just decided to run uh, some traps. We did some divide and conquer here. And uh, I'm running Curly Beard's ride. And look what the hell's going on over here. Got a friggin' mink chewing on something. Probably a weasel. Well, let's go in and scare him away. And I'll reset the trap and see what kind of damage this fucker's doing. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was apparently at one point in time a decent weasel. There's that little mink right there. Playing whack-a-mole here with me. Yeah, you just wait your turn. You can get into the trap next, you son of a birch. Well, I don't know where he buggered off to, but well, we'll be long, you'll be in the trap. Hurry, right, fellas, to the next set. All right, uh, this is first set past the bait station, right? We got a fisher here last year, and we got another one this year. And imagination that, apparently those cables paid for themselves. Might need a bigger chunk of meat there, Curly Beard. But it's not big. It's a fisher. It a here, no beard. <laughs> Make yourself totally useless. Alright. You pooped a little. Did you grab a chunk of meat? Oh. Grab those instead. Alright. Chunk of meat, you got it too. Some of came back. Well, there's, uh, there's a little wee portion left in it. Could have left me the traps, <laughs> no. At least this one didn't run. <laughs> nope. Nice little fucker. How did you get your head in there? Well, you just stuck it in. Not in his home pocket. Oh, yeah. Feel it. I don't think he fought all that much. Yeah, it looked, uh... See, this time if I would have walked over here, it would have been worth it. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Figures we add in all the swivels and finally we get a fisher that goes quick. <laughs> Not a big fisher though. Which is excellent because that's what they want. <laughs> yeah, they don't want large males, they want small females. Picky picky. Yeah, just sounds like old man.
There. We're light, it's a small male. The only natural. Hells yeah, that's the first trap in. I think we have five on this road. Five or six. Alright, see you on down the line.